Hey guys, Bitter Steel here, and I hope you've all had a nice nap. But uh, it's time to wake up now. All right, Battle Bay. First things first. No, I've not deleted the game. I've been playing 24-7, same as always. In fact, I feel like I'm in my prime nowadays. I've just been too lazy to upload, I guess. Oh well, I'm here now. You guys will forgive me. Anyways, we've got Fixer versus Fixer. Pretty straightforward, only they have American Marauders Mark 7 Shooter. I love how I can use these new commands to tell my team who to focus on from the very beginning. And their top DPS player is always the best place to start. And there he is. Missing my first sniper shot. And my railgun shot apparently, even though that was a direct hit. My team catches on and focuses on him. I love a team that responds to callouts and it seems that that Mark V fixer can't heal fast enough to keep American Marauder floating. A little bit more. My new big torpedo shatters them as a <laughs> as a gunmaker cleans up semen, and I take out American Marauder. I can't even aim properly. <laughs> it's obviously game over for these guys with their fixer and top player down, and Ducky is going down next. That is, if I can even hit him. Oh, there we go. Never mind is next. Yeah, never mind. I'll let Ripcord clean him up. All that's left is Sodali Tober, who is still a loyal Revenants member. Looks like somebody hasn't got in the middle. I'm gonna pause a bit just to see if I can get that kill steal. Uh huh. Oh, never mind. Three stars? What the? It sure didn't feel like I carried. Felt like a team effort. Holy tier five legendary items. Uh, I guess it explains that 5k infamy. Y'all thought it was over, didn't you? Nah. We're at Damage Depot for this next one, and I've gotta let the team know that SN707 calls the shots, as befits his infamy. I'm gonna launch a random big torpedo because, uh, why not? What do we have here? We have a Mark V Defender to counter our Mark VII shooter against their team of Mark VI's. They also have two speeders to counter our reds and blues, so their best bet is to rush ahead and scout while their tank follows up and their DPSs bring up the rear. Out comes their defender as I miss, along with their speeder as I miss again. Crank is backing down while their speeder is stuck. Who's this? Okay, you see that? He's trying to lure me away from this spot because basically this is where the flow of damage depot is controlled from. Uh, um, the buses and the capture building are the two main areas and everything in between is exposed, basically. Everyone has to traverse this no man's land to get to one of the hot spots, and it's easy to deal general damage as they try to cross. Oh, what? Is that a mine? Oh, my bad. Anyways, I'm exposed too, but I can easily rush capture as I get overwhelmed because there's a door right next to me. And even when they do make it across, my team is on the other side. As a 200 SX Nismo is learning to his misfortune. Crank goes down with a crazy torp. I didn't get to see it, but I bet it was insane. 
as uh, Vaponin sinks SN 7070 oh, no. and Rampe is trying to sneak behind me but not today buddy I just love getting crits exactly when I need them 4 versus 3 probably time to clean up gonna go for the flank oh what the and what do you know I get stunned great Oh well. They punin is going down and Oh uh, no, I guess not. I meant Liz. Liz is going down. And two shots later, boom. And now... I mean, and now... Come on! Okay, please don't drag this on. Just accept your fate already, god. Okay, thank you. Three stars and 19,000 damage plus a lesson on map control. Enjoy. And last but not least, we are at the foundry again with American Marauder. As always, I gotta state the obvious follow the leader. <laughs> Unless they don't want to be followed. I liked Rosie better than you anyways. Oh yeah, map control. I was talking about map control earlier, and the first team outside the pipes always has an advantage because it's easy to box the other side in from here. Plus, we can fire mortar type weapons as they descend inside the pipes, but they can't fire mortars back- what? Okay, that was fast. Anyways, they can't fire mortars back at us unless they back out. A great start. They've lost their Frixer, so you can see how the aggression has paid off. They have to play aggressive themselves now to take out our Fixer, but they're kind of boxed in at the same time, so we're in a good place. But their Speeder is making a rush for it, but he's not going to get very far. Eh, whatever. He got weakened enough. Going to Anglotorp at Bow Edge. Oh. Down goes our advantage, 4v4 with no fixers to complicate things. But we have map control, they're backing out of the pipe so I'm gonna try to flank, hopefully my team is smart enough to advance as well. And their speeder is zipping around again. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, I'm never going back to my Berta. Oh, and the radar is also a good tool for map control. I know that someone is coming to help me out just from looking at my radar. While my other two teammates are coming to flank from the pipe. And Rome just rushed in so he's going down. And it looks like I'm next. But wait. My two teammates distracted the little defender and now he's going to rush them. Meanwhile, Boetch is coming after me. No way I'm coming out on top in this little 1v1, but at least I drew him away. Otherwise it would have been a 2v2 with my other two teammates and I'm going down after that little railgun trade, but now it's a 2v1 against him. It's just American Marauder and Blueberry now. And it's no way Boa just coming out on top. And there you have it. Weird. I thought American Marauder would be top damage for sure. Anyways, look at my gear and look at what everyone else has. 
I've said it a million times. Porthos has said it a million times. Higher rarity items help, but they're not everything in Battle Bay. Map control. Map movement. Two super important skills in this game. You guys have got a little taste of how effective it can be if you know where you need to be and when you need to be there. Maybe I'll make a proper map control guide one day. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Also, like and check out my other videos. Oh, and I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded, but come on, three games. Thanks for forgiving me.